The minor pentatonic scale is by far one of the most versatile scales to know on the guitar. With it you can sound great soloing in just about any style of music. But if you're like many guitar players, you'll likely struggle to use the minor pentatonic scale across your entire fretboard, relegated to using the same box shape over and over again. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play your trusty minor pentatonic scale in any key, anywhere across your fretboard, using just one pattern as a guide. This single pattern will be called the master pattern. Here is the master pattern for the minor pentatonic scale. To use the master pattern, you need to follow three simple steps. Let's learn these steps by using the master pattern to give us the original minor pentatonic scale that you probably already know. Step one, anchor on a root note. The root note is the note that the scale we are playing is named after. In this case, we will be playing the A minor pentatonic scale, so our root note is A. Notice that the master pattern includes several root notes. The root note will anchor your scale, which is critical when playing in different positions across the fretboard. If you don't keep track of the root, you can end up getting lost. To save a little time, here are all of the A notes across the fretboard, which we will use as our root. Step number two, place the master pattern on your fretboard. In this step, we place the master pattern on the fretboard, but how we do so will depend on which string our root note is on. To make this work, you may need to cut the master pattern up into different chunks. However, this first example lets us put the pattern directly on the fretboard with no changes. Step number three, shift the notes. This last step requires us to shift part of the master pattern up or down by a fret. If your root note was below string two, shift the top two strings up by one fret. If your root note was above string three, shift the bottom four strings down by one fret. Since our root note is on string six, the top two strings will shift up by one fret. And there we go. We now have pattern number one of the minor pentatonic scale. Let's now look at the next position up the fretboard. We'll once again follow our three steps. Step number one, anchor the root. This time we will anchor using the root on the seventh fret of the fourth string. Step number two, place the master pattern on your fretboard. Because we're starting on string four, we'll need to break the master pattern into two chunks. One for the higher notes, and one for the lower notes. Notice that we used different parts of the master pattern to make this work. Step number three, shift the notes. Since our root is on the fourth string, the top two strings will shift up by one fret. And we now have pattern number two of the minor pentatonic scale. For the remaining patterns, I'm going to move a little bit more quickly. Step one, anchor the root. Step two, place the master pattern on your fretboard. Step three, shift the notes. Notice that for this pattern, since we anchored the root on the second string, we'll have to move the lower four strings down by one fret. And we now have pattern number three. On to the next pattern. Step one. Step two. Step three. Which strings will shift for this pattern? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. It's the top two strings, which will move up by one fret. And we now have pattern number four for the minor pentatonic scale. Now on to our final pattern for the A minor pentatonic scale. 
Step number one. Step number two. Step number three. Once again, which strings will need to be shifted? And as with the previous pattern, it's the top two strings which will move up by one fret. And we finally have pattern five of the minor pentatonic scale. So by using our master pattern and three steps, we're able to play the minor pentatonic scale for A anywhere across the fretboard. But what about for other keys? Let's take a look at an example now using the C minor pentatonic scale. Step number one, anchor your pattern. Instead of going through all of the patterns one by one, let's just choose a random C note across the fretboard as our starting point. Let's use the C note on the fifth fret of the third string as our anchor. Step number two, place the master pattern. We're gonna start with the higher notes, then we place the lower notes. Step number three, shift the notes. Since we started on string three, the top two strings will shift up by one fret. And that does it. So it looks like we have pattern number five of the minor pentatonic scale. Notice that as long as we find a root note to anchor our master pattern and follow the steps, we end up with the correct notes for the minor pentatonic scale that we want. Building up the scale using these three steps works, but it can still take a little time to get everything organized before you see what to play on the fretboard. For our final example, let's see how the master pattern can be applied in real time while you are actually playing the scale. This means that you'll be generating the scale pattern as you play it. Let's also change keys and find the E minor pentatonic scale. Step number one, anchor the root. Once again, we'll arbitrarily choose an E note on the fretboard as our starting point. Let's use the E on the seventh fret of the fifth string. Now because we're generating the scale in real time, step number two and number three will be combined together as we play through the scale. So we start with the notes on the fifth string. We then continue adding the notes string by string until we get to the second string. Once we get to string two, we have to shift the notes up by a single fret. Remember, we started with our root on string five. We finish the pattern by adding the lower notes below our anchor. And now we have pattern four of the E minor pentatonic scale. Keep working with the master pattern for the minor pentatonic scale in different places on the fretboard and in different keys. I know that doing this in real time is tricky and takes time to get used to, but as long as you keep using it, it will get easier and easier to map out as you play. If you have any thoughts or questions, please post them in the comments below. That's all for now, so thanks for watching.